love so it's your girl April and I'm back again to do another video so this one here is by one of my faves um I like express vendors which is I am I hair now as you guys heard me on my last video which was the curly hair um that is also by I am I hair which is sister company to Lily hair beauty which is a ally express vendor that I freaking love okay so I think this is video like number eight that I've done for them and by far they have the best hair on Ally Express of course there are other vendors that are just the same quality as I am I am I hair and Lily hair beauty but with them I've never had an issue with any of their hair I've always been very happy it's always surpassed my expectations and they just have like the best customer service I've sent many of my clients when I say clients meaning that I have to make their ways to Lily hair beauty and I've gotten the hair shipped it shipped directly to me from Lily hair beauty and I am I hair and they and my clients absolutely love the hair so their hair quality stands up it does last it doesn't shed it's not no no crappy hair they have some really really good hair so I do enjoy working with them a lot so first of all I'm gonna show you girls this because I was really excited me and Lily was speaking to one another and she said I'm gonna send you some mink lashes so mink 3d mink hair lashes so I have never wore these but girls, ooh, child, so freaking pretty and full and long and natural looking. Like, these are absolutely gorgeous. So, these are also available on their website or their Ally Express store. But these are, like, amazingly pretty. And, oh, my God, they're so soft. Like, and I don't wear strips, but I'm about to put these babies on, okay? But these are absolutely gorgeous and super soft. Um, I did get some other mint glasses from this other company. Company and they are nowhere as thick and full as these and if I show these to my daughter Tati she's gonna be like can I get those these are super duper pretty I don't think she's getting these so I have some different hair and I have a lace frontal so I have four bundles and a lace frontal not a closure but a lace frontal from I am I hair so this is their Brazilian body wave hair in a natural color and I've done so much hair from them um, that this time around we decided to do some um, frontals. So this is going to be my second frontal, I think, that I've ever made. I do believe so, yeah. Because I do have another one and I've worn it like a couple of times. I have to situate the combs better in that one. And, yeah, I just have to situate it. So this one, this closure, excuse me, this frontal is 14 inches. 14 inches, girl. It's already wrapped up in its net and... Okay, this is a really good frontal because the very first one that I did did not have these reinforced sides. And see, look at this. This is reinforced sides. Like, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. The one that I had did not have this, which made the job a little bit difficult for me. And I love when it has the reinforced sides because I feel so, like, elated and I just feel so happy. And I feel like everything is going to work out in my favor. So with this closure or this frontal, excuse me. Hmm. It's very natural. Lily hair, I am I hair, they got some bomb ass hair. All together bomb hair, okay? And I really, really do love their quality of hair. This is a really beautiful lace frontal. The hair is super soft. The knots are amazing in it. It's a nice density in this. It does have the baby hairs in the front, but it has the reinforced sides, which I am so happy about. So if you're wondering, did I do a tutorial on making a lace frontal? I already did that. So you can check my channel channel out for that I'm trying to get more into frontals because that's what people like you know so yeah that's what people like. let's get into the hair so they sent me four bundles so my girl Lily knows that I love four bundles and I am I hair knows that I love four bundles because I love fullness so I have two 22s a 20 and an 18 inch and this is their Brazilian body wave and this is for I am I hair I have done Brazilian body wave for Lily Hair Beauty, but this one is for I Am I Hair, which, like I said, is their sister company. They do have a couple stores on Ally Express. They are the most trusted Ally Express vendors, and I tell you this, no lie, I sent everybody to them, and everybody, nobody has any complaints. So, let me tell you, do you see this hair? Do you see how healthy it is? Like, I've never had any issues. Their ends are, like, amazingly full so pretty the hair never smells like 
it never smells the bearding is always like amazing and just decent with them but the hair is always like so soft you can bleach it dye it it still works it still is wearable it still is like rockable they have some amazing hair so I highly suggest these two companies to you girls so we're about to make a lace frontal and I'm like super excited about that um, because like I said this is my second one around I really don't do the frontals too much you know what it is I think you have to find like the best cap to wear a lace frontal with because if you use like the standard um dome cap spandex dome cap it really doesn't work because it loses its stretch you only have like yay amount and that's like really irrelevant so i'm trying to find something else to use and i think i do have that so i will let you girls know if i decide to use it or not in the video but in the meantime check out i am i hair and lily hair beauty below i'll post all their information as well as the past videos that i've done for them All right, my love, so I am done with this lace frontal, okay? And let me tell you, I'm going to be honest and say it was work, okay? I made this wig twice. The first time I made it, I actually used a uh, U-part wig cap, which has the hole cut out in the middle, and it was kind of more or less like a regular kind of like lace wig in the back. So I tried that, and it really did not work. So I, went up, I ended up putting this or retaking it out, uninstalling it, unthreading it, and I ended up putting it on a regular mesh dome spandex cap. And this time around, I did use some elastic. Now, I wish I would have black elastic because I would have used that instead. So for the video purposes only, I'm going to just use this and then I'm gonna change it out to the black one. The black one that I have in mind is a little bit thicker, so it's less stretch, which will hold over, the, um, over time. But I did put comb and it's like usual and I already went ahead and parted and styled it I did tweeze some of it prior to this video just used my um, irresistible me uh, sapphire curling wand system and I used the bubble wand curler so I will be doing a video on that because I know it was well requested let's begin I already went ahead and have my leave out right here that's braided on the side all right, girls, so let's get into this video tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and put this unit on. And yes, girls, a lace frontal. They are a little challenging to make. I will be honest and tell you guys that. So I was kind of bummed that I had to redo it as a second time go around. But I did put four combs in the unit and the adjustable straps. I really didn't need all the combs because I forgot I was going to put the adjustable strap in it. So this baby is on to stay. Like... Oh my god, a strong wind couldn't blow this off. But the hair is so pretty. They have some really great hair on IMI hair. So it's really great to be able to work with them. So as you see, I already went ahead and tweezed the part prior to the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and situate these combs. It's kind of difficult when you have the combs and the elastic band at the same time. So, you know, I was getting a little hot and situated right there. I'm just going to pull out some of my leave out. I didn't tweeze the hairline like a lot of people do and I should have. Next time when I make a frontal, I will do that prior to even creating the wig. But yes, I'm just going to this time around pull out some hairs just to make it look as natural as possible. And just a little tiny bit of leave out. So what I do um, also is I will be using my favorite product, which is the Strand Maximizer. This is for anyone who has thin hair or balding spots. You want to thicken your edges up. And I say this in all my videos, but I just want to make sure that everyone is aware of what I'm using. Along with that, I'm also going to be using my All Over Cover Stick Concealer by e.l.f., which is so inexpensive. I think they're like $2 now. But it's always best to use a small makeup brush when you're using any type of concealer on your wigs because a small brush just works the best. You don't get the concealer all over the place. So I do uh, tweeze my parts when the hair is actually wet because that allows the hair to easily slip out of the actual lace without you having to pull and tug on it. So... I do have a video for that if you're interested and of course you girls already know if you know me very well Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray all the way every single video I mean I did go a couple videos without it because I forgot to purchase but yeah so I didn't really need all that leave out because of the lace frontal so I did go ahead and tuck it behind now this time around my curls didn't come out like I wanted to wanted them to for my last video 
I think I just went ahead and did them super fast. Um, you know, sometimes when you're in a rush, things just don't come out the way you want them. So, and I had many other units to create. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finger comb these out and try to situate this. It made the curls very full using that Irresistible Me curling wand. Um, which was the sapphire collection the bubble collection i should have used a smaller curling wand but it does make the hair very full so that way you don't have to cut layers into it if you don't want to and just a little bit of extra hairspray to hold my hair in place y'all and that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out i am i hair and lily beauty hair on ally express Okay guys, so here it is, all done. So I didn't tweeze the hairline because I do leave a little bit of leave out out. And I think it would probably be a lot easier if I was to do it on a mannequin head. But I will tell you this, I didn't even really need the combs in this. Maybe for the back, but not on the sides because the elastic is nice and taut. Okay, hunty? So I may just leave it as the actual white one because it's really actually a nice snug fit. You can just wear this wherever. Um, basically, just put it on your head and go. So I use basically almost all of the hair. As you guys know, I did get four bundles. I probably think like a half of a bundle is left out of the shortest length. Um, because it's a lace front, so you really can't put all all that hair um a lot of it i did like double track it or you know fold in half but because it's a lace frontal and the lace frontal of course goes more further back and on the sides than a closure does you can't really put as much hair because then you're going to have all this hair in the back for one and just this little bit in the front so i didn't want to have it looking all wild and crazy so i didn't even try i mean i did try to use all the hair but then i realized girl don't even go there but with a lace frontal, you can just basically do anything with a lace frontal. You can part it anywhere. You can wear it up in more updo styles. It's a lot more convenient than closures. If um, I was to choose which one do I like best, I would probably say closure because they're much easier to make. Um, the cap is a little bit more snug. You don't have to use the elastic. I'm not really like a huge fan of the elastic band, but it does work in each case. So, I mean, it all depends on your preference. Um, with a closure, I can still wear my hair up and part it anywhere where I just have to move it around a little bit but other than that it's cool so yeah it was um this time around it was challenging because I tried to do something totally different and it did not come out the way I had planned on it um the curls looked a little bit different than my last ones that I did I'm not really sure why I think because I was probably in like some type of rush because I had other units to curl but other than that, the hair is really nice. I love their hair. They have like the best hair. Lily Hair Beauty and I and My Hair have the best hair ever. So if you're going to ask me which vendor would I choose on Ally Express, I would always say them too because for one, they are sister companies. So they always bring the best hair ever. They are always very humble people, but their hair texture, their hair quality is by far amazing. So yes, I would highly choose them. All of their packages come by FedEx via FedEx. And I I just really think that they have really great quality hair um it may have shed a little bit but that's the goal with every wig that i make they do shed especially at the time of conditioning and washing i do brush it very thoroughly because i do like that hair to be penetrated with all of the conditioner but i really didn't do much to this one but just redo it so this is the second time i made this unit in one day like i made it in one day took it out in one day and just continued to make it so this was an all-day project for me not all day it doesn't take me that long to create a wig but i had other things to do besides make the wig so yeah i was kind of bummed out because i really wanted to make two wigs in that particular day so i ended up kind of making two wigs but it was the same exact wig but yeah so you can check their website out i will post your their information all below for you girls and if you want a custom wig made or an in-stock unit you can always check out my website going with the wind wigs .com, and i will post that information as well as all of my favorite websites are below and if you want 70% off or such and such with Numi you can check out my latest video which is Numi's magic wand I love their heating tool as well as I do love irresistible me's heating tools as well so on that note stay diva and divalicious I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always I will see you guys on my next video